Hey guys, it is Hannah from Swamp Family. And so today I basically was like, so we uploaded a video either last week or two weeks ago. And we didn't really have a video and I was like, you know what, I'm home. I'm gonna make a Q&A video. So I posted a picture and I said put questions underneath, but I said make sure you're unique because I don't wanna answer like the same question over and over again. So I got a bunch of responses actually, and if more than one person um, asks the question, I'll put both of them like right at the bottom, just so like they're not like, hey, I asked that first. I don't like arguing. I don't like drama on my account. So if I guess I'm ready for this, I'm actually really scared. Don't know why. Okay. So let's get in. Okay. So the first question is. What continues to make you watch Bunny, and how old are you? Okay, so I'm 13, if you did not know that. Um, so the reason I continue to watch Bunny is because she's there for me whenever I need her. As cheesy as it sounds, as, repeat as, uh, as repeated as it sounds, like she's always there for me. When I'm having a terrible day, I just sit down, watch her videos, and I feel like there's someone behind me. Like our swamp family is so big if I have a problem I know at least 10 people have the same problem I can just go out there and say wide open on my account and say you know I'm having a bad day and like people will DM me message me and be like I'm going through the same thing right now can you like help me and I was like yeah sure and then I was like can you help me too and it's just a family and we understand each other so much like, I feel like I would rather go to my Swamp family than probably anyone else. Well, yeah, pretty much, because my friends are in the Swamp family. I get them to watch Bunny. So I continue to watch Bunny because she honestly just makes me happier person, and as cheesy as that sounds. The next question is, how did you find Bunny? And I don't really go in depth about this story very much, but I'm just going to let it out to you guys because... I don't know why not okay so here's what happened the night that I found her um my one my best friend she tried to commit suicide I was in tears and I was just watching YouTube and I was crying watching it I was watching like I think I was watching Bethany Moda and people like that and O2L and so I watched her video and it was it does this thing very and it wasn't a does this thing really work it was like one of her not her paranormal it was a tea vlog I think and I just fell in love with her because it was the one where she basically said do what you want and don't care what others think about you because you are you and that kind of stuff and I was already down at the time and I feel like it really helped lift me ever since then I've been a fan I don't remember like what year I think it was early 2012 or something like that but she's honestly been there for me and I was at my lowest point when I found her and I feel like with her I've been at my highest points and my lowest points but the Swamp family and her just helped me help me during those times like they celebrate me at my highest points they still celebrate me even at my lowest points and they help me whenever I'm feeling upset and I can always relate to um, the Swamp family because they honestly mean the world to me the next question is what did you think of Bunny when you first watched her video? I thought she was just an individual. Like, people, I feel like on YouTube especially, and sometimes in real life too, they put on this fake face. Fake face full of makeup and go. And I'm not, like, putting anyone there, but that's usually, like, and I feel like she can go barefaced in her videos, and she feels confident about it because we just don't, we don't care because she expresses herself how she wants to and I support her for how she respects herself so um I thought she was very cool no that sounds really weird but I thought she was just I thought she was different in a good way so that's why I continue to watch her the next question is if you you could have but the it's like a would rather you could have bunny's phone number text her and call her and FaceTime her, but never get to meet her, or meet her, or just meet her. Okay, personally, I just want to meet her and, like, take a picture with her. Maybe get her phone number, you know, because, like, 
because if you meet her, she'd probably give it to you. But like, if you had your phone number, you would never be able to meet her because that's what the question says. But I'd really just want to meet her because, you know, those people they make such a big impact on your life, and you're honestly changed for the better. And you just want to like, you just want to hug them. Like, I was so broken a while ago. And I wish I could just hug her and thank her. I've written her so many letters, sent her so many letters. She, I think she's wrote and back a couple times. But I just feel like the next step for me is I just need to meet her and in person say thank you from the bottom of my heart because you mean the world to me. So I'd want to meet her. And, you know, I could she could follow me. You know, that would be nice. Um, and, yeah, I want her phone number. Yeah, <laughs> I'm weird, I know. Next question is, do you ever feel judged at school and do you love Starbucks? Okay, I definitely feel judged at school a bunch. I don't know, but I recently kind of, because I moved schools last year, it was actually really hard. Well, not really, but people accepted me. But um, one thing is I feel like I don't, I feel judged sometimes. Like. Now, if you would have asked me a year ago, like, if I was judged, I would have been like, yeah, I hate it so much. Now, I don't care what people think about me. I don't care if people from my school find this video and they're like, you're so weird. Like, I don't care what people think about me because Dr. Seuss quote here, those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. And people, they if they actually care about me they'll accept me if they don't too bad because I really don't care sorry and yes I love Starbucks and I know I'm not gonna be like cuz I'm a common white girl no I hate when people say that no I just love Starbucks because they opened a new one near my neighborhood and I go there all the time and I love Starbucks and I have like 20 gift cards and I probably use them all so and the next question, the person doesn't want their username on here, so I'm going to respect their wishes. But if you could film any video with Bunny, what would it be? It would be a follow me around video. Or does this thing really work? Mostly because I feel like she's so diverse. It wouldn't just be like, hey guys, we're going into Target and I'm going to buy some stuff. It would be like so crazy and we'd be running around doing the earthworm. And it would just be so much fun and I don't know but I would just want to I would want to do follow me around or does this thing really work plus I really want to meet Boris it's not bad like Boris I really of the people I want to meet bunny dogman and Boris that's who I want to meet life goals right there set your expectations high meet Boris Okay, so the last question is, if your mom and dad forbid you to watch Bunny, what would you do? And they would not for forbid me to watch Bunny. But if they did, if they disrespected my wishes of watching YouTube and getting a A's in school, which I don't see if I'm getting good grades, why I can't watch YouTube. But they understand it. But if they lost their minds, that you cannot watch Bunny, I would go to my neighbor's house, which my co-owner lives at, and her house is my second house. Her parents are my second parents, her brother is my second brother, and she is my sister. So I would watch it there because my second parents are they're nice people. So but they wouldn't forbid me to watch to forbid me to watch Bunny because that just wouldn't happen. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video, and if you want more of these kind of videos in the future, just thumbs up, or I will say the link, I will post the Instagram picture when the when this is uploaded, and I'll say like the link is in our bio. Just comment on that picture, any of my pictures, and say that you watched the video, and I may follow you. Wink, wink. I can't wink. I, I wasn't gifted with the gift of winking. But yeah, just tell me that you watch this video and I might follow you, spam you, who knows. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hannah out. I love you guys. Ah.